Hi, it's your girl Leanne, aka Lola, which is an acronym that stands for Laugh Off and Love Always. I'm your goddess guided deep inner wisdom and deep soul transformation. That's the Buddha and the butterfly. That's the Awa and the beauty. That's the Holy Spirit and the magic. And this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. No um, structure, just an intuitive read. I'm using the Light Seekers Tarot. And we're going to do a reading and a read. I'm going to be reading from my book that I wrote, The Glow Up 28 Days to Self Love, using meditation, mantra, prayers, invocation and practical magic for the skin and then we'll see what the Holy Spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, what do we have for um, Scorpio Sun Moon Rising? I leave no part of my soul behind. That is your mantra for this week and I'll do a little bit of the reading for you for this, that goes along with this. There is only abundant love in the universe. The one only creates abundant love. I know I am part of that abundant love because it is a universal truth about me. The wonders of the universe cannot create anything other than abundant love. There is abundant love in me. There is abundant love outside of me. This abundant love moves through me like waves crashing on the shore, like wind rustling the leaves on the trees in the spring morning. This abundant love, this is a lo abundant love energy. It is the part, is the very part of my DNA. Every cell, every strand is incorporated within me and makes up the very being known as me. The abundant love is the very essence of all that I am. It is energy and power behind my breath, behind my life force, behind my thoughts, my actions, and behind all that I am. I am that I am that I am. And so it is. Your mantra again is, I leave no part of my soul behind. Make sure to cop that book on Amazon if you feel like it spoke to you. I'm trying to get myself together. Let's get this reading uh, started. Whoa, already, These cards are popping out. Um, please give us uh, some cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. For what Scorpio needs to know. Mm, okay. What Scorpio needs to know for the end of the month until the beginning. The beginning. August. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Got some poppers. Poppers and droppers. Get to see my background. Poppers and droppers. Okay. All right. We have some things going on. Some things going on. I'm feeling a little bit of despair, Scorpio. So let's let's get into it. Is there anything else that Scorpio needs to know? All right. They need to do some planning. Okay. Anything else that Scorpio might need to know? Please help them to take what leaves them and to take what serves them and leave what doesn't. You got some poppers and stoppers, poppers and droppers. Okay, so we got some energy, Scorpio, that we need to discuss. We got some energy that's going on inside of you. Um, and, and this is a little bit of fear-based energy. And we gotta get past it because you you got bigger and better things that you're moving on to. Bigger and better things. Yes, 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 yes. Anything else that Scorpio needs to know? Anything else? God. I'm going to stop right there and leave that to the side. Well, yes, of course. I'm pulling you. <laughs> I'm pulling your Oracle cards from the beginning. In the beginning, I wanted to just have them ready because they are relevant. Uh, the Spirit said, oh, flip those cards and let's talk about it. Let's give us something to talk about. We got some things to talk about, Scorpio. Um, you know, you got some plans that you need to make and stick to. We got some things, some things, okay? Um, there's three, there's three cards on the board that we need to discuss first and foremost. Um, and we're going to start here at five of pentacles, five of pentacles, five of pentacles. Uh, there's a little lack in poverty mindset that you're, fi you're fighting against, uh, Scorpio. And this is something that you must release in order to succeed. You have got to let go of pre-paving lack and things not showing up for you. You've got to let go of that. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Uh, this is this is like grief. This is like distress. This is um. This is also we're worrying so much about things and worrying constantly you're worrying the wrong thing into existence you need to be manifesting the right things into existence and releasing things that are not serving you okay um and and there's a little bit of betrayal that you're working with 
a Scorpio that you have to let go of too in order for the future to be successful. Because you, you got some successful cards on here too. And there's actually some giving, is giving you how to fix this idea, how to fix this energy as well. So the tarot cards are giving you some, what you need to do and how to fix the energy. So these, this is the energy that we must overcome specifically in this right now energy, especially this last week going into August 1st. This has to be overcome. You have to release this lack mentality. You have to let go of feeling uh, betrayal or like you're sacrificing yourself or um, you're failing. Stop feeling victimized. You're not failing. You're not sacrificing yourself. Um, you know, nine of swords. You, there's there's no despair. There's no uh, um, distress. You're there, there's no you're not there's no desolation. You're not by yourself. You stop worrying about the things that you don't want to see coming into your life. That's not going to happen. We're going to let that go. We're going to move towards having this success that we want to have by making sure that we planned everything accordingly. That we dotted our I's and crossed our T's. So plan accordingly because you have things to do and places to go and people to see. And we're going to make sure that we're playing our own bit rhythm. You must play your own song. You must play your own song. No one can play your song for you. Nobody can actually create for you. No one can actually set up for you. No one can actually do anything for you that you can't. You have to do it for yourself, Scorpio. So this is about finding the enthusiasm and the opportunity to move forward, okay? The Hierophant, you're going, this is like you, you must rise to the occasion. Let's see if that goes, yeah, that's so much better. I'm like, I can't get the thing to work in the thing. Um, this is about your belief systems, your, um, your identity, how uh, groups rule your identity and about education. So what you are doing is currently going to take you uh, into organizing and creating you, how you show up in the world. It's going to challenge your belief system, but you need it needs to be challenged in order for you to really get to that light, to become the hangman, to really, really um, move into this energy of um, pure enlightenment and basmati bliss, to get into that blissful state. You have to be challenged. You have to really actually move into that space that the Hierophant is calling you into. And the hangman is saying, the Hierophant says, take the, take the trip. Go, go towards, take the trip, go up the steps. Move into the light and you will be supported. And in the support, you will find your enlightenment. Okay? It also is saying this, rest. Rest in the nest of the heart. That's I love that just because I like, I like rhyming things. But rest... Rest and don't over don't overburden yourself. Don't overdo. You're moving towards something grand and new, and and what you're creating, people cannot touch. You are divinely protected. They cannot touch. You have done the work to be so inside of this bubble, to be inside of this, encased in this energy of protection from God. You people can't touch you. So get into that that alchemizing space go into the space where you can create which is in your mind it's in your heart go into that space and create some stuff stop putting off the creation go and do it you have the power within you you have the space and the place to actually create and the reason why i bought this deck is because i felt like when i had seen somebody do a reading on um and uh youtube and this card popped out and i said oh my god that looks like me i need that deck this is like me and my she shed. So go into your she shed, go into your he shed, go into the inner space that is you and create what you need to create, okay? So that you can come out on top. Let's see what the bottom of the deck has to say because the other cards are like crazy. Mm, the world. The world. You gotta go through that portal, baby. You can't not go through the portal. You know, this is completion. You're about to, whatever it is you're doing and working on right now, whatever it is you're planning when it, to really play your own music and to move higher into your spiritual growth is the completion of a cycle. It's the beginning of a new, a new beginning, but it's the completion of a cycle. Okay? It's integration of your power into you. You got to go through the portal. It's perfect unity. It's wholeness. It's accomplishment. You have to move forward. Go through the door in front of you. Go up the stairs. Know that you're supported. And go through the door. Okay? Leap and the net will appear. 
Um, your your uh, sign of the time card was uh, opportunity. Okay, the keys showed up. Who got the keys to the beaver? Keys showed up. This is your opportunity to shine, to create, to to live. This is your opportunity to live. Follow the keys. Okay. What are you clinging to? The, the crumble card came up. What are you clinging to? You're clinging to an old idea that's not supporting you. You're clinging to something that no longer serves you. So let that go and move towards the opportunity. Grab the keys and move towards the opportunity. And you got this. You got this. This is a pretty good reading, um, Scorpio. I love you. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising to get a full picture of what's going on um, for you from this from this day until Jan uh, August 1st because this is a pretty good juicy energy that you might be wanting to cultivate and really understanding what it is that you need to do. You need to make sure you're doing that resting. You're taking the time to get into the creative space and to really create and really plan out what it is that you're creating, okay? You're moving towards something wonderful and beautiful. You just have to take the chance. You have to walk up the steps. You have to go through the portal. You have to go through and complete and know that you are divinely supported. I love you, Scorpio. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and share me with a friend because I'm super shareable. Make sure to ring the bell so that you know when I'm coming forward for you to give you a reading that is specifically and personally for you. Remember to take what serves and leave what does not. And remember to share me with a friend because I'm super shareable. And I love you, Scorpio. Be well and good luck. Bye. Godspeed. I love you. Bye.